So, on this planet, we have America, South America, of Europe, Southeast Asia, Africa, and then we have Australia, and then down here is New Zealand, down there. So from that, we have New Zealand, so Auckland's around here, Wellington, Rotorua, and then we have the South Island. Fjordlands are here, and we have Stewart Island and Whenuahua here. So, the ka Kākāpē, for the Mary around, were everywhere, everywhere on this island. And then they were eaten a bit, kept as pets sometimes, mostly eaten. And then also the white people came to colonize the land, decided to eat the Kākāpē as well more, and also they brought dogs and cats, and there was lots of rabbits. With these rabbits, they decided to control these rabbits because they're in abundance by stoats and weasels. But they're very efficient killers of the Kākāpē. So the Kākāpē were only found, they wiped out on the North Island, they were only found on the South Island. And on the South Island, they were found... in the most extreme location. So, um, so around the Fjordlands, it's around this area down there. So we're looking at Dusky Sound, Resolution Island, around here, and the very tips, so uh, Tutuko Valley as well, so it's very steep terrain. And then also, they will also find an island around here called Stewart Island. So Stewart Island's here, Oban or Half Moon Bay is there, National Park is all around it. This is Fenuahe, where we are right now. Stewart Island is down the distance, that's the Ruggedies, which are about here. And Fenuaho is where we are now, so we're about here on Cedars Bay. And that is the situation. So here there was males found, about eight, before they were wiped out. And then also here were the, what was left of some males years later and some females. From that, they translocated or relocated these because of rats and weasels and stoats still predating on them to Fenuaho here where we are now and also to some islands around here so it's like Anchor Island um, also up here there's Maud Island and if we go back to the other map with the North Island there is here in the Bay of Plenty there is oh, Little Barrier Island I believe as well 124 Kākāpē left in, in the world 65 are 64, 65 are here, and 40 odd are around this bit, Anki Island here. In a nutshell, that's the, that's the decline and the resurgence of the Kākāpē. Thanks to us, but we're responsible to getting it back. Um, the person to look up is Richard Henry, a naturalist, who in the 1870s tried to move them all to um, Resolution Island uh, in the Fjordlands. He moved about 400 odd around here to try and help save the Kākāpē as well as some kiwi birds. A few years later he realised he it was all in vain because unfortunately stoats and weasels swam across the water to get to the island and started preying on the Kākāpē. Um, but you know we thought they were all extinct and then luckily in the 1970s a team went out to go and find them expedition to go and find them in the fjordlands and they found them. And since then we've been slowly repopulating them over time, but it takes time. But hopefully it's going to be a booming year and there'll be a good resurgence, good healthy population as well. Diversity is key, Stuart Island, Fjordland genetics as well. So hopefully we can make things happen. It's critical. Because when it's gone, it's gone. And they're such unique species as well.